any other school other than Bama that's in the SEC would like to shine a spotlight on the fact that a lot of people are leaving because that just affects recruiting for everyone. Bingo. Bingo. You know, somebody could be on the verge of potentially going and then they hear, oh, did you hear, did you hear, sending links. So you got a lot of narratives potentially trying to be built by a lot of different platforms and a lot of different humans that certainly would benefit from an Alabama downfall. And then I just started thinking, like, how many scholarships are there? I don't know how many there are, but – they didn't say everybody on the roster left. Nope. And all we ever talk about is how deep Alabama is. And he was like, first thing we need to do is we look at the transfer portal. Okay, none of these guys are as good as uh, yeah. all these guys that are on scholarship right now with Alabama. Yeah, at our yeah. school. Which is what every other school was doing whenever that 30-day window, mm-hmm. which I think they're still in right now. Like, uh, how's the transfer portal? Cool, cool. But what, what, Alabama is also available right now. We're going to get in there. So him hitting home. Yeah. Feels like the smart, but also those guys are going to take a lot of pride in like, hey, when they thought Alabama was going to drop off because mm-hmm. yeah. Coach David, it's like a yeah. whole new angle they can go with. I do hope that he keeps around the tradition of all the you know old Alabama guys coming. Like, yes, it's hard Al- not to. It's a reunion yeah. every single yeah. game. Yeah. It felt like every whenever we were down there only twice. But like Josh Chapman on the sideline, yep. a lot of the OGs in the building. I hope that remains, and I would assume that's what Coach Saban is helping with. Like, hey, we're still all in this Alabama family as opposed to just coaches and coaches. Because when West Virginia change coaches it was like we weren't even really allowed in the building mm. for a little bit it was it was like bad, hey we're repainting pieces. a new narrative this is who we are move to a new uh conference we go to the big 12 it was like yeah pat white steve existed but not really here's gino tava tavon which we're big fans of let's not get it twisted but that like they wanted to start a brand new angle i hope that doesn't happen with alabama and it doesn't sound like that's going to take place and kaylin DeBoer. He's a unifier, man. His team quickly comes together. I talked about that Sioux Falls second-year national championship, and then I talked about Washington's second-year national championship. It's like he's able to get people to buy in, and he's coached a lot of football. I feel like mm-hmm. he's going to do it the right way. Now. That's going to be big, not only for the program, but for recruiting, you know, because a lot of times you, you, know, you come to campus and you see a, maybe a, a Kirkpatrick or one of these greats around, maybe show you around, you know, do a little whatever, this and that. But um, So that would be huge for him. And I doubt, you know, he wouldn't go that way. He'd be foolish not to. They're saying, okay, let's move the. Go ahead. Well, you just you mentioned like winners win. He's a winner. Uh-huh. Yeah. So like he and and he made a good point too because I think with like the transfer portal and everything, we forget about all the guys who transferred before he was the head coach, and all of those are just attributed to him. So it's like the narrative is, hey, since he's got there, thirty guys have transferred out or whatever. When in reality, it's only been and granted, a couple of them have been pretty big names, but it's only been huge. Caleb six, Downs leaving. Yeah, massive. Mm-hmm. Now Saban's still there. Caleb Downs not leaving. Any coach though especially with the option for every team to come in and tell Caleb, hey, we can give you this amount of money. Yeah, money. That's yeah. going to be tough to keep. He's the best player in football is what, like, everybody says pretty much. So losing him is a massive ordeal. But you can't help but go back to the point that all we say ever about these recruiting classes is – Filthy. They got yeah. Caleb was a freshman, true freshman last year. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Look at the league and how many guys you know, left Bama because they couldn't mm-hmm. get on the field and Bingo. go to the league and they're Pro Bowl, you know, mm-hmm. four or five, six time Pro Bowls and they couldn't get on the field at Bama. So those next guys that step up, you would expect them to be up to par. Now, obviously X and O's coaches matter, but then obviously he talked about it, like the character of those guys in that building is going to be a big thing too. He's that's a huge part of his entire. Yeah. yeah. He's, he was a very professional outfit over there in Washington. The way their practices were being run, I watch a practice, I watch a walkthrough, I got a chance to see a lot of behind-the-scenes footage of him in a team meeting. Like, he is just a very, just like Saban, it seems like. Sure. Like, just like, hey, this is kind of how it goes. He's mature in coaching. He's been around long enough where I think his resume commands 104 and 12. That's absurd. That's ridiculous. 25 and 3 at Washington. It's like, what are we talking about here? There was a lot of people that are trying to kill him early because he's not an SEC guy. And, uh, you know, Saban started in Michigan State, mm-hmm. Big Ten. So it's Hell like, yeah. can he go in there and, that, and you know, can he learn it? That's understandable, too. I agree. You know, you know, that's Bama. We've been down there like that is, you know, football country, SEC. So he's definitely going to have to come in there and prove himself. And now the landscape, it's like you got to recruit your your guys every year. So, that I mean, that's – That's the big difference. Yeah. I think it's a whole different landscape right now because you got to spend as much time keeping your guys mm-hmm. on the roster than – when we played, it was just, hey, listen, everybody's going to be here that we got. Mm-hmm. Now we just go recruit our 25 guys we want. Right? Yeah, now you got to recruit 25 plus keep 75 <laughs> or 80. Yeah, the only time anybody would leave is if the coach was trying to force them to leave because if a coach took a scholarship, he'd look bad to that entire state pretty much for taking somebody's yearly scholarship. So nobody was ever gone. It was so like, just make them run the stairs for <laughs> six days straight. Hey, we got a 6.30 a.m. workout for who? Uh, backup middle linebackers. Yep. Just that one. <laughs> that seems... Like you're targeting? <laughs> no, just trying to get better. You want to play or not? And then he's got a 45-minute cardio session. Yeah. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to get you better. What? You don't, you don't have to. You, know, you, you want to 
We'll write a letter of recommendation for you to go somewhere else. That's what it used to be. Oh, that, wow. that is. That was that was literally eight, eight guys getting in trouble for going out the night before, and like two guys are let go, the other six. You know, all right, give them a second chance. Boom. Those two, I couldn't <laughs> wait for you to mess up. Yeah, yeah. man, we were waiting on a situation for you to potentially quit this team. Oh, you guys talked about culture, and if if the guys were good enough for Saban, they probably should be good enough for DeBoer or whatever. Keeping that smart decision, I looked it up. The two directors of player personnel were Chapman, Josh Chapman, and Haha Clinton Dix. Ha ah, Clinton Dix is still recruiting. He's out with the board, and, and Chapman is still listed as director of player personnel too. So yeah, that's smart. Probably smart. smart yeah, mm-hmm. Chapman was, I think, captain as a sophomore at Alabama. Jeez. Or captain as a junior. Hmm. Whatever it was, he was the first ever, and he's D tackle, nose tackle. He beloved by every human I think he's ever encountered. I don't think oh, yeah. there's ever been a person that has not, you know, enjoyed being around him. So I think he'll help keep the whole, you know the past mm-hmm. and the future together alongside HaHa Clinton Dix. I think they're going to do it right down there. Winners win. The standard is Bama. Yeah. Kalen DeBoer has won a lot of football games mm-hmm. as a head football coach. Yeah, and, I mean, you talk Bama players being pissed. He's probably pretty pissed, too, that he didn't win a national championship. Mm-hmm. So he's got something to prove as well. It's not just the players. Only people have seen him potentially two times. Exactly. And it's against Texas and in dogfight, obviously. Yep. He beat that play. And then against Michigan, who beat him by – 20 some points. Yeah. And people are like, this guy, what are you talking? You just lost to Michigan. It's like, Michigan just beat Bama. So did you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Every team. He, they, uh, they've been kind of built for everybody.